What's up guys, this is my third time recording this video. It's a part three to the two other videos for the Rocket League connection timeout or can't connect to the servers problem. Um, for those two problems, I mean, for those two videos, they it might have a solution for this problem for you, but there are other people that uh, did watch the videos and it did not work for them. So this is the updated tutorial and will most likely work if the other ones didn't. I will put those links in the description if you want to go watch those two first, which I highly recommend. But the first step to doing it is searching up temporary files. Um, so T-E-M-P-O-R-A-R-Y and then F-I-L-E-S. It will show up delete temporary files. Click on it, left click on it, okay? and it will come over here. Keep storage sense off. It takes up GPU and CPU usage, which isn't fun. As you can see here, this is uh, where you can see how your storage is being used. So these are your videos, apps, temporary files, and others, um, but we're gonna be focusing on temporary files. So left click on this, and it will scan throughout all the different options that you have here. Um, you want to have all of these checked because they are all the temporary files that are unnecessary and they are temporary, meaning they have been used and they can be recycled or just deleted as a whole. You want to delete the recycle bin storage or anything that's in there because that'll free up storage and speed up your PC as well. But if you have, make sure you can check your recycling bin. So search up recycling, recycle bin in your uh, file explorer and see if you have anything important in there. Once you have saved anything that you might have accidentally deleted, click on recycle bin and then also click on delivery optimization files. You don't need anything in the downloads, okay? Um, I, I wouldn't click it because you can lose personal data such as uh, photos or videos that you might not want to delete. Um, so, once you have checked all of them except for downloads and you have checked the recycle bin, click on remove files. It will purge throughout all of them and clear your PUP and uh, temporary files. It will purge and as that's going on in the background, open up Malwarebytes. If you don't have it by now, I don't really know what you're doing. Okay, so here's Malwarebytes and what we're going to do is we're going to click on scan. It's going to find any malware. That's always good. But um, the main thing that we want to delete here are the PUP files. That, again, takes up your PC uh, usage, data, and storage, which is not fun. But once it has been scanned, you want to click on quarantine. But um, I, don't, I did not have any PUP files or threats. So I don't have any detections, which is good and um, make sure you scan frequently and make sure that there are no problems going on with your PC. Before we move on to the last step, um, I would like to talk about this little teaser here, the hand cam. You may see here that I have a keyboard and a mouse here. You know, why would there be a hand cam in a tutorial video? Well, this is just a little bit of a sneak peek to my future videos. I will make some Minecraft content and some Rocket League content which will be great, and it's gonna be some funny and entertaining content. Nothing competitive or amazing, but um, yeah, just me having fun. And if you'd like to see that, I'm glad, because I enjoy doing that. For the last step though, I want you guys to go over to this window search bar and uh, type in uh, cache, C-A-C-H-E and you want to scroll down until you go to the folder section and you want to go down and click on cache-nta game. Click on that and all of these different files are cached within your Rocket League file. Don't worry about this region cache, that, it's completely fine, just leave that there. But for all of these, select all of the files. You want to right click and click on delete and now all the cache will be gone and restart your pc go into the epic games uh, launcher and click on library 
these three little dots by the Rocket League symbol and click on verify. It makes sure that you're not missing any necessary files to run the game and you should be good to go. All these fixes have helped me in the past in different ways and I hope this video was helpful. And thank you to those, um, and thank you guys for all the support on the last two videos on Rocket League, because I'm about to hit 1,000 views on my part one video. So, may seem like I'm kind of milking the content here, but, um, I'm doing it because there are other tips that may be helpful to you guys. And I can tell that out of all, the di all of the different comments, um, a lot of you are still having troubles. So I'm glad I could make this video. Thank you guys, and uh, I hope I see you guys in the next video. Peace.